Hey, what's up, guys? It's Engage Tutorials. Welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you my best HD uh, PVR render settings. Um, I'm going to give you a fair warning that if you have an old computer or um, not so good computer, these will do a number on your processor. Um, it'll take a long, long time to render, and the file sizes are pretty big. So I recommend these only for like clips or montages, so you can have the best quality in your montage or clip. But like say like if you're just making a clip for a series or something it's perfectly fine and I'll show you some gameplay render settings also so go ahead into Sony Vegas we are going to um, import our clip by the way you can watch the test video I put unlisted on YouTube the link is in the description so go check that out if you want to see the um, results of this quality okay so First things first, you want to right click, go to properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and click OK. You want to go to your project video properties. I have a preset here, but uh, to get this preset, you want to click this little button match media settings and uh, click your clip and make sure everything is the same as mine for the pixel format it will be on 8-bit change that to 32-bit floating point full range it makes it a uh, the pixels and colors a bit better it uh, does work and I really recommend that and go ahead and save yourself a preset start all new projects with these settings apply and OK next thing you want to do is crop out the black bars that you see up here so go to the event pan and crop um, uncheck both of these size about center and lock aspect ratio and just you know crop out the bars on the side you can zoom in if you want but once you have that perfect go to your preset and so you can click that every time for color correction I use two things on color correction the only really things you need if you're doing a gameplay you don't need anything um, but I use where is it color curves and I keep making presets or what the heck um, I keep making presets for this like this one's for zombies this one's for nuketown on black ops and this one's for backlot on cod 4 so you can just add an um what is it reset to none and mess with these little lines right here as you can see you can mess with them and change the colors preferably line them up with the line up here and then just drag them out for how bright and dark you want it. The top is bright and the bottom is darkness and you'll really see a difference so if you untick it or uncheck it watch the screen it changes adds a lot of colors and contrast so that's definitely good then save a preset for the map that you're on and then once you record a video with each map you'll have all those presets down the next thing is sharpen reset to none you may think that doesn't do anything but it does if you you might not be able to see it on my video but if you do it you will see it watch it here uncheck check it makes everything crisper nice and crisp if crisper is that even a word I don't know but once you have your editing effects all down go to file render as main concept ABC ABC slash AAC MP4 and go to default template and custom for video copy down these settings to custom frame size 1280 by 720 uncheck allow source to adjust frame size profile main frame rate you have to type this in manually 59.94 and then four zeros check allow source to adjust frame size or frame rate field order none pixel aspect ratio 4 number of reference frames 4 check use deblocking filter variable bitrate from maximum and average make them both 14 million there's a preset in there for audio the sample rate 48,000 the bitrate 320,000 project best and once you're done that name it and click save click OK and render it and that's really it for the render settings uh, once again these will take a long time 
but they're worth it if you're making a montage of clips not for gameplay for gameplay I would recommend WMV and six megabytes per second and that's really it for gameplay doesn't matter um that's it guys thanks for watching remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video